John can move across to challenge him. Supported by Mendes. Glavin! Glavin got that one coming through, headed on the turn as he was slipping down. That's Murray who headed it. Airdrie's throw. That's Walker taking it. McCullough heading it inside, but it's gathered by Dalglish. Dalglish making ground instantly, nicely out to McGrain. McGrain moving forward and challenged to Dalglish. Dalglish for the cut by. goal by Paul Wilson to put Celtic into a 1-0 lead there's Dalglish, see how superbly he pushes it out to McGrain McGrain will give him the return watch the superbness of this ball now looking for the chip across goal and a great header there by Wilson Just watch this goal all over again. Look at the chances there. Wilson having a goal. It's blocked by Latchford. Blocked again. Here it comes to McCann. Off the underside of the post. Into the goal. Off the underside of the bar. Into the goal. So, 1 0. It's coming up to half time. Wow, that completely changes the game again. Sheer determination has brought Airdrie back on to level terms. Celtic have shown the more consistent class in their moves, but sheer grit and determination. Two minutes to go to half time and the score one all. And the minute, Wilson gets it. Wilson makes it 2 1. Paul Wilson gets his second goal of the match and puts Celtic into a 2-1 lead. Well, Airdrie didn't get long to enjoy. So here's the goal coming up again. Lennox takes the corner. Paul Wilson, a great header. Douglas throwing down the line, Lennox. Lennox spinning round black. against John Quinn. Well, the, there will be arguments about that, but let's just see it again. <laughs> Pat McCluskey put Celtic into a 3-1 lead. 53rd minute of the cup final. Stroking it to McWilliams' left-hand side. He had no chance for that kick at all. And that looks to me to be the end of a dream for Airdrie. There's the president of the Scottish Football Association, Mr Rankin Grimshaw, on the right-hand side of your picture, standing just in front of the Scottish Cup. And a moment the Celtic fans will cherish Billy McGill coming up for the seventh time to get a winner's medal. Right behind them, the Englishman, Peter Lashley. Well, just imagine how these Celtic players must feel at this moment. A moment to cherish, a moment of genuine triumph for the Celtic Cup. A man who has been 
voted Celtic's greatest captain of all time. And making sure that Peter Lashford is not going to be out of the limelight. Bobby Lennox coming up behind Peter Lashford and saying, give me a shot of it. Danny McGrain, Steve Murray, two goal Paul Wilson. Harry Hood Kenny Dalglish and Andy Lynch 